There it is. We're live. We're live. It's Sunday and it's early. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining early with me tonight. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Hi. Shelly, New York City. And for those of you who are not um, my regulars, if you don't mind, please give me your first name. Hello, Lisa, Lisa. So I guess that's your first name. <laughs> Hi, Debbie from Oklahoma. Welcome, 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 welcome. Hey, now let me see them trying to get your name. I know your face, but I can't remember your name right now. I know it starts with an A. So give me your first names as you come on. Hi, Michelle. And welcome. And hi, Chache from Maryland. Welcome back. Hi, Yolanda. Hi, Nita. Yay! My wonder girl friend. <laughs> hi, I'm Mary. And I'm glad to see that you are enjoying this time. I know I missed a portion of that. Nisha, pronounced Nisha from the Bronx. Hey! So you're Brooklyn born diva from the Bronx, where I'm at right now. Hey, Fran from Oklahoma. And yes, Lisa, Natural Lisa is your name. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Thank you for the lovely hearts. <laughs> yes to Wonder Curl. Wonderful, 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 beautiful hearts. Mary says she's enjoying her trim. See there? Trims are good. Trims are good. I get a trim every three to four months. Yes, it's very good for you here. Welcome, 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 and thank you. Thank you all for sharing your names, and I appreciate you all coming on um, Skype, okay? And uh, I don't do silly stuff, so we'll just be blocking you. I'm here to talk with my friends who have natural hair. Thanks for periscoping right now. This road trip was getting too long. <laughs> okay, and more block party stuff. All right. Hello, this is Jackie from Alaska. Finally, first time joining you. Well, thank you for joining us from Alaska. Isn't that exciting? And let's see, Silver Star Wendy. Did you do a twist out? Looks awesome. I sure did. This is uh, day seven of my twist out. I showed a portion of it, you know, on my Instagram and Facebook. What had happened was I was doing a wash and go. Um, had a you know had a bad experience on that wash day that caused me to go much later and I'm only telling you guys because you're on the scoop so I'm gonna give you the whole scoop behind that hey Rhonda I'm gonna give you the whole scoop behind that I um, just want to introduce myself to those of you who do not know me um, and if and if there's too much silliness I'll be blocking you so you know you can hang in there and actually you know what I don't trust that so let's just go ahead and block that one out but your soul glow. Anyway, okay, so let me introduce myself to all you lovely folks who have been so kind to join me on this uh, Sunday evening early periscope. Um, my name is Abena Palmore. I'm a licensed natural hair stylist. I'm working in a salon in the Bronx, New York, where I live. The name of the salon is the Gifted Hair Clinic. It's located at 3511-1 Boston Road at the corner of East Chester. It is very near to Co-op City, which is a landmark area of the Bronx. And it's also the northern part of the Bronx, which is near West Chester. And so you can find me in that lovely salon uh, anywhere from Tuesdays through Saturdays, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. by appointment only. And you can book an appointment with me on styleseat.com slash Abena Palmore, which is spelled A-B-E-N-A-P-A-L-M-O-R-E. -E. Okay, so that's me directly in the salon, face-to-face, -face, doing a hair analysis, doing your hair, and working with you, training you, whatever you need. So that's in the salon. Um, actually, no, you didn't miss a thing. We're just getting started, so you can share with us your first name, and we'll be happy to, you know, have you join us. And so that's the salon information. You can also find me on YouTube at Embrace Natural Beauty. That is the name of my channel. And so on Embrace Natural Beauty, I share simple tips and techniques that have been helpful to me in my own natural hair journey, which has literally been four years, that has helped me to maintain my hair, to keep it in good condition, and to retain length, because retaining length has always been my goal. And so I share this with my viewers and my followers so that you too may also maintain your hair, keep it in good condition, and retain length so that you enjoy your hair 
and embrace natural beauty of your own. And so you can find me there on YouTube. You can also find me on Instagram at embrace natural beauty with underscores. So if anyone would be so happy to share that for me, just be my wing person, embrace underscore natural underscore beauty. And then you can also find me, thank you so much, hi Latoya, and you can also find me on um, Twitter and Periscope here at Embrace, capital letter N for natural beauty. So that's Embrace and beauty. So thank you all. Again, I say welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Again, I say welcome. And i um, so happy to be sharing, you know, this topic with you all this evening. And I wanted to let you know, the way that I come about topics, I generally look at some of the comments and the questions that you all are posting, either on my Instagram, Facebook, or even on YouTube, and try to get a consensus of what you know, you all are dealing with. A lot of you are dealing with um, single strand knots and have asked me to do a video, and I promise I will. So please know that I'm not ignoring that. I get that often. And so I would like to put together something comprehensive, and so I'm still, you know, working out how I would do that, you know, in a video form. But this topic came about because a couple of my clients in the salon had you know um, um like a like a wake-up call when it comes to understanding how to moisturize their hair and i was like maybe more of you need to know this so i wanted to make sure i share that with you all and um you know hopefully this is helpful to you and then you know you're always welcome to ask questions about anything that's on your hearts and on your mind so we can talk about that here today now someone had asked me about my twist out and i and i don't publicize this you know but I was trying out another product, so I was, I was hoping I'd be able to share with you guys a new product that I thought was going to be awesome. And I was doing my hair on Monday like I usually do, but I started late, which was already, you know, not so good. But, you know, it's cold, so I like to do my running around on my Monday, and then at the end of the day, go ahead and wash my hair and still have enough time to air dry, right? So I used this product, and when I washed my hair, the shampoo, you know, it, it felt like it was doing a good job. I like the smell, and then I moved on to um, I moved on to the, the conditioner, the deep conditioner. When I put that stuff in, it was so horrible. I could I, there was no slip. The smell was so so, but it just made my hair feel so dry. And so okay, I had to add another conditioner to it just to get some slip so I could detangle and then go sit under the steamer. So I wasn't too happy about that. Then um, I went to style it, and I couldn't style it. Everything that I put on from the product line made my hair feel more and more trashy. I didn't have any definition. It didn't feel moisturized. It didn't have any hold, any style whatsoever, and I was so frustrated. I was crying in the shower because you all know um, it takes me a long time to do my hair. What you don't know is that it actually takes me about four hours to do my hair. So I wasted a good three hours using a product that made my hair feel like sandpaper. And I don't think I've ever had a product make my hair feel like sandpaper. And so I know what it's like now to waste your money on something that's completely horrible, which is something I have not done in a long time. I'm very cautious about purchasing product. And thankfully, I attend a lot of natural hair events, so you get these swag bags. So I have tons of product for stuff that I haven't necessarily used. And when I do use something, it's always been, you know, pleasant. But I haven't used anything to the extent, you know, that I did with this product and had such a horrible experience. I know you want to know what the product is. <laughs> um, you see, this is going to go up on my YouTube if I can. And I'm not about bashing products. So I want to find a gentle way to share with you this information because I don't want other people going out and spending their money. But I also don't like to bash people, you know. I feel like people work really hard to to get where they are and so I'm still trying to figure out a way to, to share the information with you but just just know that whenever I do share a review of a product it's most likely because I like the product and it worked well and I'll share with you how well it worked like you know you've seen all my product reviews you see how I show you the, the application I show you the end of the day how I air dried I show you you know throughout the week and the reason why I do that is because I can only endorse something that I know has actually worked. And so I'll share that with you. But to actually, um, to put someone on blast, we have to do a block party, to put someone on blast, I feel is kind of hurtful. 
And so, but I do want to make sure that you all are not wasting your money on product that doesn't work. So, so bear with me. I'm trying to figure out a way to share with you what the product line was. So you all don't waste your money. Um, but just know this, if you're on my channel, you will only see product that I sincerely believe works because it, you know, worked on me. And then I also, you know, feel comfortable enough applying it to my clients here because I know it's going to make sure that their hair, um, is well moisturized and, and the style stays. So the best moisturizers for low porosity hair, I think I actually um, shared a, on my Instagram um, some moisturizers that I that I found useful. And so Nita is saying thank you because I introduced a lot of you to the Wonder Curl product line, which is a product line that took me some time to get through all of the items. So I pretty much used every single item in the catalog with the exception of two very small items which is the um, nourishing um, hair balm is it possible the product line works well on one person and not on others okay let me get to that in just a moment so there are two items within the um, wonder curl product line that i have not used so one is a nourishing hair balm which i got in my um my uh, my live unboxing uh that i did on periscope the day before Thanksgiving. So I shared with you all, said, oh, this is the one product I don't have. But there's also the polishing pomade. So those are two items that I have not used from the Wonder Curl line. So I can completely say I endorse that line um, wholeheartedly because it works very well. Um, and I feel confident, you know, whenever I use the product so I can stop, you know, I don't have to cry when I use it. Um, so anything that I do share with you, you know, I will be sure to thoroughly, you know, make sure I'm using it and, and get a good sense of how well it works. And I want to be able to do that with more product lines. And I'm, I'm reaching out, I'm trying. It's taking me a while because I, I don't like my hair feeling trashy. And so after I go through a trashy experience, I give myself a break. <laughs> go to what I know works. So that way I can get my footing, have my baseline. I know that my hair was fine the week before. So if it's not good the next week, then something went wrong. Does that make sense? So Wonder Curl really, really works is what Nita is saying. So she's she's uh, she's been converted. <laughs> she's had a great experience, and um, I'm so thankful. You know that was what worked out well for her. So now the question was, um, do does is it possible for it to work well for someone and not for others? Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Anyone can have a good experience, and anyone can have a bad experience, right? So the balm is great for transition for, from relaxed to natural, is what Rhonda is saying. Thank you, Rhonda. Like I said, I haven't tried that, so, you know, thank you. And how is, how is it great for those who are transitioning? You know, if it's great, how did you use it that made it so great? Definitely going to give it a try. I'm glad to hear. You're very welcome anytime. Let me just take a swig of water. And thank you for the hearts. And so she's going to let us know how um, how the balm worked for her while transitioning. And my topic, as I had said, was about you know knowing that your hair is well moisturized. And another question was already asked of how you know can a product work for one and not for other? Retains moisture and helps your scalp from being dry. Is what Rhonda said. We nourishing hair, hair balm did for her. I kind of figured you said scalp. <laughs> it's, it's okay. It's okay. No typos happen with these smartphones because they always want to rewrite for you. And so, um, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure I, I can't quite answer where's the subtitle. I don't know. We, we, um, I only speak English and this application doesn't allow for that. Will Wonder Curl, will Wonder Curl have a Cyber Monday sale? Lisa, yes, they will have um, a Cyber Monday sale. Um, I don't remember what the details are, but I will find out so I can post it on my Instagram and Facebook for you all. Um, I will definitely make that information available. But right now the sale is 20% off um, the entire site and 35 if you spend more than $35, the shipping is free. The shipping is always a flat rate. It's always $6, I believe, unless you get like a whole box heavy load or something like that which I don't know if you would so but for the most part it's a flat rate of about six dollars I think and so you would be bypassing you wouldn't have to pay that shipping fee if you purchase over $35 on the site through today 
there is a link in my Instagram that you can click on. That way you're coming uh, to the site from me and it lets Wonder Girl know that you've heard about the sale from me. So that would be great if you can do that. And I hope you guys get to take advantage of any sales that you get during the season of giving and share with others. Your good, your good product lines. So now, let me try and answer this finally, right? Um, moisturizing your hair. What I shared with a couple of my clients this week, which was new to them, is how I identify that your hair has enough moisture. I will literally work on a section for a long period of time. I know my clients are sitting there like, why is she taking so long to put that product in my hair? And that's because what I'm waiting for is for your hair to actually take on some definition. If when I was washing your hair, you had some curls popping when I put the shampoo and the conditioner and everything your, your curls were doing something, then we know you have some curls going on. Some people, it takes a little bit longer to get a curl, um, especially those of us who have low porosity hair. So if your hair, you know, has a curl when you're, when you're washing it, block party again, they're out here. They're out in full force tonight. So we are blocking, blocking, blocking. Um, if your hair starts to curl when you're washing it or when, you're, when you put your conditioner on and you see that curl, you want to see that curl again when you're applying your moisturizer. The reason why you're seeing that curl when your hair is wet, when you have the shampoo or when you have the conditioner is because your hair is receiving moisture. The more moisture you receive, the more you're going to see curl definition. So when you put your moisturizer in, it should be the same thing. Now don't just go, you know, take some dry hair and apply some moisturizer. Make sure your hair is clean. Do this after your hair is clean. But apply your moisturizer to the point where you actually start to see and feel your curl, you know, uh, form and define. Some of you are twisting your hair. You're sitting in front of a TV. I have single strand knots. Is that a sign of moisture? Single strand knots is not a sign of moisture. It's not a sign of moisture. Um, but please let me, um, I get distracted when I see comments because I want to make sure I'm not missing something. But you know what, I'm going to try and stay on task because I want to complete the thought and make sure that you all are clear on what I'm trying to share with you tonight. And then I'll be happy to, you know, respond to your comments. So please bear with me. And so like I was saying, if your hair is actually, um, you know, when you are, like if you're sitting in front of the TV and you're doing your twist, you're preparing your twist, your two-strand twist or whatever, you know, you're doing like a bantu knot or whatever it is, you're not really, you can't see it, but you can feel when your curl starts to form. And this is what I talked about with a couple of my clients. Um, and she was like, oh, but when my hair, you know, that's when I feel the curl. I said, yeah, you, you figured it out. That's when your hair has enough moisture from the moisturizer. And you want that before you add your oil. A lot of you, um, you know, feel your hair feel softer when you put the oil on, and some of you feel like you get you know a better curl when you have your, your oil on. I'm not really sure how that would happen, but your oil is going to soften your hair, but your oil also seals the moisture in. So make sure you have enough moisture before you add your oil and before you add your styler like your gel. Because that way you're going to be holding your style, but you have that good amount of moisture. You have enough moisture. And especially since it's going to be cold, it's going to be dry. And I don't know if you guys felt that whipping wind from this, you know, from when it gets really cold. Oh my gosh, I thought of, I thought about putting my hair in a protective style myself for the first time. Um, it's been so cold and when those winds come. So make sure you are getting that moisture into your hair with your moisturizer during these cold, you know, during the cold season. It's going to be, you know, attacking your hair. So make sure you just load up. I know a lot of people tend to move toward heavier butters. Whatever it is, um, whatever your moisturizer is, just make sure your hair is starting to define. And then you know your moisturizer is in there. And then you can go ahead and apply your oil. Um, is oil a must? Yeah, I am totally in favor of oil during the winter season, during the, during the cold climate, because it's going to help to seal your hair. Um, during the, the warmer months, I don't use oil. I don't. But when it's cold, I do. I like to use it to seal. And so for those of you who are using the Wonder Curl line and are comfortable using, you know, um, you know, product rather than oil, it's up to you. I'm not, you know, advocating anything, you know, other than what you want to do. I actually use, in the salon, I use the Love Whipped 
yes <laughs> so that is what i think oh gosh i think this is uh judith right so yeah i use the butter than love whip to seal and it is um heavy um heavy on the oil not so much liquidy like the butter than love pudding and so i would put the butter than love pudding until i know the hair has enough moisture when i'm getting that definition which it will get a lot of definition with butter than love pudding and then the next layer will be the butter than love whip for sealing in that moisture and so what i like about the butter than love whip and this is not a review but just to share with you all that what i love about it is that when you put it on it's not heavy it's a nice light you know product it's light and fluffy so when you put it on good evening kizzy um, when you put it on it's not going to weigh your hair down so you just put it in your hand emulsify it and then you apply it you know onto your hair don't go too heavy oh it's fran oh i don't know why i want to call you judith there's another person on here i, I kind of get you guys mixed up but hi fran sorry about that <laughs> um so yeah so that would be the time that i would add the oil so if you put your moisturizer on make sure you have your definition then go ahead and put your oil on so you can seal it in and then you could put your styler you could also do it the reverse you could do your styler first and then put the oil on last but try it out and see what works best for your hair either way um actually when i do it on my own hair i do the whip underneath my styler and over my styler i would do the oil that's just been me on my hair personally um, but either way as long as your moisturizer is first that's the most important thing so so you use whipped you use whipped and butter um no it's the reverse the butter than love pudding is my moisturizer and then i use the butter than love whipped to seal in that moisture and then i would put the gel on for holding the style so yeah that would be the order that i do that and now there was the other question you're very welcome there was the other question of now how you know a product can work for some and not for all some people have good experiences with products and what i would do is um yeah sometimes you know it's you know whatever a person's expectations are have been met with the product i don't know how how accurate it is as far as maintaining moisture i can't really say all i know is that there are products that work really really well and if they work really well to do a certain function, like say for example, if it's a good moisturizer, it should work well on everyone. So the whip can be used like the oil to seal. That is, um, Nita, that's exactly what I was saying. Absolutely, it can be used to seal. It is mostly oil. It's a nicely whipped oil with shea butter. So it doesn't, it's not liquidy like the pudding. So you would use that to seal. Um, and let me just finish this thought. Please copy and paste your your comments so if I need you to, to, to put them up again because I want to make sure I finish the thought before I move on to answering another question and I get distracted and then I forget what I was saying. Um, <laughs> great, I'm glad you know what you're ordering, Nina. Make sure you go through my link, please, so that, you know, yeah, if, I'm, you know, if you're learning from me, um, please let Wonder Curl know that you're, you're learning from me by going through my link. So now, um, I was saying about the other products, if your product is well formulated, and it's a moisturizer, it should moisten anyone's hair. Your hair is not based on your curl type or your type of hair and how it's going to receive moisture. It's, it's your porosity level, it's your density. I've had to take smaller sections on hair that was more resistant um, in order to make sure it's getting moisturized, but it will get moisturized with a well-formulated moisturizer. So sometimes you have a product and you're not seeing good results and it's not necessarily that the product is not good, but it could be your application and vice versa. You could be applying a product just fine, but if it's not well formulated to, 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 to hold, you know, um, hold in moisture, you're probably not going to get good results. Um, my one indicator for a product not not working well or I'm not feeling confident about using a product is if I'm applying a moisturizer and I do this all the time so you guys don't see this I'll apply it on a client and I see it start to do like this chalking thing and I go all right I'm not using that 
<laughs> and I go back to my tried and true. So I try to use other product lines um, just to see how well they're going to, you know, absorb into the hair and moisturize the hair. And if I don't see good results, I'll stop and I'll switch to something that I know that works. So that's one of the indications. If you're seeing these little gritty pieces, how are you getting definition if it's just sitting in your hair, if it's just like looking like dandruff or flakes? Um, so what about moisturizing gray hair? Moisturizing gray hair can be tricky because again, it's resistant hair. Gray hair is going to be more dry than um, your average hair because it, it doesn't, it's more resistant. It doesn't have any pigment in it. It's, it's kind of wiry. So hopefully you have you know, more hairs um, around the gray hair that can actually absorb moisture. But in my experience, what I've, what I've handled when I've handled gray hair, it's, um, it's very resistant. It's very resistant. So you will get the moisture if it's you know, a combination of different hair types. So when I say hair types, I mean being able to absorb moisture, hair that's not resistant, like normal porosity hair, um, or even high porosity hair, if you work in small sections, you can moisturize it, but really, really resistant hair, gray hair, the best thing I could say would be to make sure you're still putting on a lot of moisturizer, so at least it's there, um, but it will, be, it will be more resistant. I only apply to the scalp, so you're saying to the scalp, okay, so Pat, if you can, I think that's Pat, if you could rewrite that sentence because I'm a little confused because I don't apply product to the scalp, only to the hair. And so I'm not sure what you're asking. Yeah, but Pat, could you could you write that again? Um, so Fran is saying, I use Butter Than Love Whipped for my gray hair. You use it to moisturize your hair, Fran? Because that's what I used to seal. It doesn't have much aloe in it. It doesn't have much liquid in it. This is Jackie. Have you tried the Denman brush, modified or regular? And what are your thoughts? Okay, so these two ladies are going to come back to me, so maybe I can... Um, okay, so Fran is saying, yes, yeah, she uses it to seal. Yeah, that's exactly how I use it, so I'm glad. And so Fran, Fran is saying she has gray hair, and the um, Butter Than Love Whip helps her with her gray hair. And if I'm correct, you know, let me know. If I need to correct that, let me know. <laughs> I don't want to be misleading. But um, as I said, when it comes to moisture, if you're finding this resistant and if you're not getting those little flakes, the little, uh, little bits of pieces of the product in your hair, then your moisturizer is, is absorbing into your hair. But if you have more resistant hair, you may need to work it in a different way. And so I can talk to you about you know, ways that I go about working in moisturizer, especially for like low porosity resistant hair, what I use, like to do. Um, if I work with the hair over a period of time, I get used to it and I can, you know, trick it a little bit. So what I'll do is make sure it's moisturized with water first. Then I will section off in small portions and I will do twists or braids to just keep it locked together with just the water. And then after I do the entire head, I will go back and add in the moisturizer braid by braid and rebraid them, the entire head. And then I will come back and prepare to style the hair, and if necessary, and it's often necessary, I will add more of the moisturizer, then I will proceed to add the styler. And that has been really um, so, um, successful, it's been really responsive, it's worked really well. I've seen, you know, at some point the hair has gone from, I think I had this video <laughs> tape as well, I've seen the hair go from just being straight, having no curl definition, to finally by the time I'm ready to add the styler, having some curl. So taking your time and working it through and giving your hair time to absorb, because that's what's happening with low porosity hair or resistant hair, it takes longer time for the product to absorb. Instead of just whipping it on and then hoping you can, you can get that curl definition, it's going to take some time, so you just give it, you know, those different steps has been really helpful um, for me. Is a styler the same as a gel? Yeah, I, I pretty much use that synonymous. Your, your gel is what's going to hold your style, 
And so I oftentimes refer to the gel as Rostyla. Yeah. But you can also